our first opening quote well to us it looks like this is our closing quote and this is our opening quote but to python this is our opening quote then it hits another quote where we just meant to um, put speech marks it hits another quote and because it's the same type of quote it assumes that's a closing quote then all these characters are um, are not inside a string not in between quotes so they're not interpreted as a string and then we get another opening quote and a closing quote so all these characters here H E L L, -L O those are all un uh, uncounted for okay unaccounted for so the way we can deal with this is if we escape quotes um and this means to uh I don't actually know what it means. It means to escape the problem that the quotes would cause, I guess. I don't know. But to escape a quote, um, that is to make it uh, so it's just a speech mark or a character. Uh, to, to make it so it's not a Python character, it's just a string character. Okay? You type a backward slash. Whoops. You type a backward slash. And now you can see all this text has gone um, green. And now this is gone uh, unhighlighted because this is the closing quote. So let's just escape that one as well. And now, if we just copy this and let's type input, it accepts that as um, as formatted input. But you can see one thing it does is actually it changes the um, the out the opening and closing quotes because it's just easier to do it that way. Um, because inside a string you can use any type of quote uh, so long as you don't want to close it you can use any other type of quote apart from the one that's opening it so I could use sing uh, double quotes all I want because the opening quote here is a single quote okay but I can't use a single quote all I want because that well I can in this case because I don't have any text but if I have text here or I can't use a single quote text here problem you see syntax error so you can use the other type of quote all you want inside um, a string, okay? So in this case, it's kind of redundant to use double quotes and uh, waste two more characters escaping these double quotes when you could have just used single quotes to open and close. Okay? Like so. Um, however, there are cases where let's say you have you open and close with double quotes you have hello world um, let's think she didn't say now here I've got both um, double and single quotes inside uh, the string so in any case well I should have actually used single quotes actually because there is one less um, single quote but in any case I'd have to escape one of the types of quotes so basically in that case it's just a matter of which type of quote you're using less so you won't have to type so many backward slashes okay and in this case I did it wrong the first time but now I've corrected that and I only have to escape one rather than two okay and there you can see that's accepted um, now, the whole thing with backward slashes brings me on to uh, another topic, the final topic of this tutorial, uh, which is um, escape characters. Okay, you Not only can you escape quotes, you can escape other special characters. Um, one such is the backward slash n character. Okay, oh, I got a syntax error by accident there. Backward slash n, what it actually means is um, carriage return. Okay? So if I have in a string, I have hello backward slash n world, and I just uh, I print this actually so it formats it properly. You can see hello and then carriage return world. Okay, so that's one of the uh, special characters. Another special character is the backward slash t. So hello backward slash t world, and that puts in a tab. Okay. Um, there are several others. I can't entirely remember them. I'll, I might put a table up of them in the description on the right. So uh, if I do check that out, um, really the only one, the only well, you might use t 
two, but the only one you will ever really use a lot is backward slash n. It does come in handy a lot of the time. Uh, maybe you'll use backward slash t. I'm not going to make any promises, but uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, over now for this tutorial.